The motorsport and surfing fraternity turned out in their numbers to bid farewell to a local legend of the sports, Paul the Surfer born. Several past and present drivers and surfers, along with family and friends, packed the Coral Ridge Chapel to say goodbye to a man many describe as a driving icon. During a short tribute, his daughter Ashley remembered Paul as a genuine fun-loving dad who was fearless behind the steering wheel and on the surfboard. My dad had a lot of love to give and was a passionate person. He was strong-willed and did anything he set his mind to. He was also a complete clown and had no shame. My dad lived his life at full throttle in more ways than one. His perception of fear was not of the average person's, whether it was in a barrel of a hurricane swell or behind the wheel of a WRC going sideways or bringing his vision a peg to life. Delivering the eulogy and paying a tribute on the behalf of Bourne's wife, Megan, childhood friend John Lee shared fond memories and spoke glowingly of Paul's unselfish character and love for others. His joviality and good nature is what attracted people to him. He was someone you could trust and turn to for advice. He always had the time for anyone who needed it, no matter how busy he was. He was encouraging too. Anytime I had doubts, he would immediately flip the situation and turn it into a positive. I saw him do this with so many others as well, and that came to him with ease, one of the many qualities he had that I admired. The two-time winner of Rally Barbados and former Barbados Rally Club competition secretary, was one of the island's most popular competitors for more than two decades. He also won several other local rallies and represented the island across the region, most notably in Trinidad and Jamaica. Bourne was also an avid surfer and the president of the Barbados Surfing Association. The flamboyant driver passed away on February 7th at the age of 59. May he rest in peace. And Margaret Rich Boyce, CBC Sports.